Hello, welcome to another video with my cousin Eric. <laughs> Eric actually owns his own beehive and he takes care of them himself. And today he's going to take us on the journey to how to take care of them. So you can talk about the five things that you look for when you take care of your bees. Okay, so when I'm out checking my beehive, the first thing I'm going to look for is the presence of the queen. So, this doesn't mean actually locating the queen, it just means making sure the queen is laying. So, um, basically what I'll look for is larva, which means the queen is laying. So, if there's larva, good, the queen is there. The next thing I look for is brood, which kind of goes hand in hand with the queen because if there's a queen that's laying eggs, there's going to be new brood. And brood will be in a rainbow shaped pattern on the individual frames in the bee boxes. So if you see that rainbow of brood, that's a good sign. The third thing you want to look for is stored nectar and pollen. Now the nectar and pollen is typically going to be located on the tops of the frames right above that rainbow of brood we just talked about. And nectar, it, um, the reason they store nectar away is because they're, they're actually trying to get it to the state of honey. Honey is basically a nectar, nectar but just with differing water percentages. So that's a fun fact. The next thing you want to look for is disease and mites. One type of mite is the Varroa mite, and it is found in all hives, just at varying levels. So what the Varroa mite does is it latches on to larva, and it sucks the nutrients out of them and feeds off of them so that it can continue laying and continue its gestation cycle. So if you want to get rid of Varroa mites, what you have to do is you have to kill the queen because once you kill the queen, the queen can't keep laying new larvae and that's enough time for the varroa mite to go away because it won't have any new larvae to feed off of. Um, but you just want to make sure um, those are kept at a low level. Um, I had one time I was out of my hive where I saw big mounds of dead larvae covered in mites. That was a really bad time in my life, so <laughs> I had to... <laughs> I had to scoop those out and really take preventative action to get those levels back down and now we're at a nice safe level. That's the fourth thing. The fifth thing is looking for usurper cells, which, um, is that how you say it? Usurp, yeah. Yeah, usurp. Uh, you want to look for... <laughs> you want to look for queen usurper cells. Um, in your hive also because if there's the, if you see those kind of cells it typically means your hive is getting ready to swarm which is not a good thing so if you see those destroy them um, that's why you want to check weekly because those can pop up out of nowhere however now that swarming season is over which is typically made of June I can check every two maybe even three weeks so that's what you those are the five things you should really look for and your beehive. I think we should go check mine out. Yeah, so we're gonna go see his beehive with our bee suits. Here we go. <laughs> My girls like the smoke hot. <laughs> These are my beehives. This one is no longer functioning because the queen died and they were kind of already infested with drones so there's nothing I could do about it so we're letting them peacefully die out. This is my strong hive, Betsy. Just kidding, I don't name them, it's just my hive. And inside there's a lot going on. They're filling up their honey super right now. They're very active as you can see so let's dig in. There's the girls. So, there's the bees. See how they're all going down? So now, I'm basically looking to make sure they have plenty of brood, an increase in population. I'm gonna clean off all of this propolis 
in between the frames you got some propolis you want to clean that out so I'm gonna do that and we're making this hit yeah we're just gonna make sure there's a lot of good things happening so, so in all of these frames we have brood and we have capped nectar and then we also have a few frames of just solid pollen but on all of these frames you're gonna see a rainbow of brood, a brood pattern. So as you can see, this capped brood makes a rainbow pattern. And at the very tops is where we have our stored nectar that where our ultimate goal is to get to honey, as I said. And um, if you look closely, you can see some of the larvae 